Falls here. I figured why not talk about the seven best fragrances in my collection that are perfect for getting compliments. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first fragrance I'm gonna talk about, man, this fragrance is so polarizing. Not at first when it came out. When it first came out, it was what everybody was talking about. It is the definition of a hype beast. Everybody was talking about it, everybody loved it, but now so many people have mixed emotions. You used to love it, but you don't love it anymore. You used to love it and you still do. You don't like it at all, you can't afford it, it's too expensive, I get it. Wherever you may stand, all I can say is in my collection, this still gets me the compliments to this day. And this is the most copied fragrance, I think, around the world, that and Baccarat Rouge 540. But of course, I'm talking about the House of Creed and I am talking about Aventus. Yes, this is a very expensive fragrance. It is a high-end fragrance, it's a luxury fragrance. It's one of those fragrances that invoke confidence, that has a little bit of status, kind of like a Mercedes or a BMW or a Rolex watch. This fragrance has some status, but this is so, so good and I love it. To me, I'm always gonna have this in my collection. It's one of my favorites from Creed. I still yet to try some of the other concentrations, but I do love this one from Aventus. It is so good because it's got that fresh, citrusy, fruity pineapple DNA that we all love and it just smells so good, right? And then as it starts to settle down, you have those nice woody aspects, you know, sweet, woody, fruity, fresh, guys. I love it so much and like I said, it has been copied so much, but again, when I wear this one, I feel like a million bucks and I really do get a pull in a lot of compliments. Now, there are so many other ones that you could get, right? You could get a Moss Club, the Nui Intense Man, right? But one of my favorites, and it's not quite as smoky to me, it's a little bit more smooth and mass appealing, and that's this one from Barrett Fragrances. So if you're looking for a good alternative to Creed Aventus, try Valhalla from Barrett, it is so good. I love this one. I put a nice dent. It's one of those fragrances along with Creed that you can wear all year round. And this one is only 40 bucks as opposed to $300. Listen, if you've got it like that and you just want to buy this, I understand. I went out and bought it. I'm glad I've got it. But if you only want to spend 40 bucks and use my promo code down below, you can save yourself 30% off your purchase. You can't beat that. And you're going to smell like a much smoother, creamier, you know, heavier version of Aventus because guys, the perfume concentration in here is so, so thick. Look at this. Guys, this stuff is so oily and I know Scott, you just sprayed it so it's wet, but once this dries down, it'll stay oily on my skin and I made the rookie mistake when I went on vacation. I was spraying this on my shirt and I stained my shirt. So rookie mistake, the oil concentration here is dialed up so you're gonna get so much more performance, guys. Aventus, love that birch. Love that pineapple, love that fruit. It is a compliment getting machine for me this fall. All right guys, next fragrance on my list. Man, this industry is exploding, right? The Middle Eastern fragrances are just exploding and they're making so many good fragrances that stand on their own, but they're also making a lot of clones. But this one right here by Rasasi is called Derej Porom. I love this fragrance. The first time I wore it, I was walking through the store and I had two different ladies stop me and ask me what I'm wearing. They both subscribed to my channel, which is like really good advertisement, wearing the fragrances. People always stop you and I can tell them a little bit about my channel, but I was able to show them both this fragrance by Rosasi called Derej because it is just so good. It is so warm and so cozy, a little bit spicy, not too much. But this fragrance right here is all about the vanilla. The vanilla here is dialed way up and then it has this nice rosy nuance to it. But it's really just about the vanilla. It's about the coziness and the spiciness. It smells so good, guys. Don't sleep on this one. This is an excellent cheapie. I think this can be had for around somewhere between 30 and 40 bucks. It is worth your time to look into, worth a buy, guys. This is to me blind buy worthy, in my opinion. It is so good and for 30 bucks, you can't beat it. This is Derej by Rosasi. Gorgeous fragrance that pulls in compliments anytime, guys. So good. Should go without saying, one of the things to do to help you guys get compliments, because I've seen some of your posts in the uh, Facebook groups, like, I wear that fragrance and I don't get a compliment. Guys, one of the things that you need to do to help, and this goes without saying, to get compliments is put yourself out there, okay? Send off positive vibes. You know, have a smile on your face. Don't walk around scowling. Be open. Have your, your antennas up, you know? Always have a smile on your face. Be approachable. Be the person that you want others to be for you, okay? Be approachable, be kind, you know, be bubbly, be excited. You never know what could happen 
from changing your outlook on life. Be thankful, be in a place of gratitude. And when you do things like that, guys, you'll be amazed at what happens for you and to you in your life, especially when it comes to compliments and other things as well. But that's just my little sidebar. Next fragrance, guys. And one of the things that's funny, I didn't do this on purpose. When I was putting this list, list together, a lot of these fragrances are vanilla based or have vanilla in them. They're vanilla forward fragrances, and this one is no exception. This one is Mason Francis Kirkjohn Grand Soir. Don't need to spend a lot of time here, guys. You already know this is an absolute banger. Warm amber, cozy vanilla, a hint of lavender, and just a little touch of leather. Ugh, this one projects so far. This one performs so well on my skin. I have a link down below to Venba Fragrance. I got mine from Venba. If you use my link, you can save a little bit of money and uh, get a nice niche fragrance a little bit more cheaper than you would anywhere else. So definitely check out Venba. It's worth it. This fragrance smells so good. It's warm and cozy. I, I always paint the picture of, you know, cozying up at home and watching a Harry Potter marathon or whatever your favorite movie is, or it's raining outside and you're drinking a cup of coffee, or you're just on a date with your significant other. This one will do the trick. It is a great date night fragrance, has a lot of staying power and longevity, and it's just an amazing compliment getter. All right, guys, again, keeping with the theme of vanilla, this isn't a top 10 best vanilla fragrance, but this, it could be. It's this one right here, Club Black by Mercedes-Benz. I know, right? We all know Mercedes-Benz for making opulent cars, luxurious cars, but man, they're also doing a big time with some of the fragrances they're putting out. And this Club Black started out as a decant, from Chef Camp Moe's, and then it turned into a full bottle presentation, guys. What can I say about this one? Basically, this is a sweet, smoky, cozy vanilla, guys. It's pretty straightforward, it's pretty linear. I use this fragrance in and of itself, but I also use it to layer with a lot of other fragrances. There's a couple of coffee fragrances that are strong. There's a couple rose fragrances that I have. There's some very powerful fragrances that I like to sweeten up with this vanilla right here, and it's perfect for layering. It's what I find. So. Got, you can wear it as a standalone vanilla fragrance. I feel like this is so unisex, a male or a female could definitely wear this one. So if you want compliments, put on this one by Mercedes, Club Black. It is so good. And I get about six hours on my skin with this one, projects at about an arm's length. But guys, you're gonna love this one for the fall. And when I picked it up, it's, it wasn't all that expensive. I think the prices might go, might have gone up on this one. And last time I heard, there was a lot of debate about whether it was discontinued or not being discontinued. I'm not sure about that, but I know a lot of you guys are smarter than me. So let us all know in the comments down below if this one's getting discontinued. Next fragrance, guys, another hard to find fragrance. If you can find it, if you can pick up a decant, if you can buy a half used bottle or you know pre-used bottle or if you, anywhere, spend the money. This is worth it, guys. Tuxedo by YSL. Oh, man. This is James Bond in a bottle. It's so good. A lot of citrus on the top, opulent, clean, luxurious rose, a lot of patchouli, and then some boozy vanilla. This one is so good. You're gonna get a lot of staying power, a lot of longevity this, with this one, at least I do. And it's just so opulent. And every time I wear this one, my confidence goes way up. And I've gotten so many compliments wearing this fragrance. It is so gorgeous, a little pricey. 300 plus on up, but if you can find a decant of it just to try it out, I highly suggest doing so. This is a great compliment getter for the fall. YSL Tuxedo. All right, guys. Hmm. <laughs> Top 10 tobacco fragrance, right? We were just talking about vanilla fragrances. Top 10 tobacco fragrance. This should be on everyone's list. This is from Precious Liquid. Have you seen what they're doing now? Their new limited edition releases, guys. These are amazing. These are gorgeous. The bottle is so heavy. The juice is so gorgeous. Everything about the presentation is so much better than the original. Although the originals are still good. They're a little bit cheaper, like 125. Guys, these, these fragrances are not for the faint of heart. They're like 250 plus on up. But guys, I've got a promo code. If you check my promo code down below and you want some of these fragrances from the limited edition, you can save $40 off your purchase. But Tobacco Royale is it. It is that fragrance. It is dripping with sweet, luscious, gorgeous apricot. I'm telling you, this is a beautiful note to go with tobacco. It just works. Apricot, dripping apricot, guys. Spicy tobacco, sweet vanilla, sticky cystus, warm amber. This is good. You are gonna love this one. It's gonna put a smile on your face. And when you wear this, you're gonna walk by people and they're gonna go, ooh, what is that? Because it's exactly what my wife did when I first sprayed this one. It is so good. Tobacco Royale by Precious Liquid. 
definitely check them out. In case you don't know, Precious Liquid was started by Richard Herpon. He is the master perfumer, award-winning. He made oud wood for Tom Ford. So definitely check out Precious Liquid's new stuff, especially the limited edition. All right, guys, last one out of the seven. We're gonna talk about this guy. I don't see a lot of people talking about this one. It's one of my favorites. This one is from Carolina Herrera, and this is Cobalt Electric. I love the presentation. I love the built-in atomizer right there, guys. This one is so good because I love the note plum. I love lavender. So you've got lavender mixed with plum, mixed with sweet, fresh pink pepper. And then as it starts to dry down, it's a little bit earthy. It's a little bit woody. I even I pick up a little bit of vanilla on this one. It is so good, guys. A vanillic like scent mixed with plum, mixed with lavender, you know, a little bit earthy coming from the truffle in the woods. This one is a compliment getting machine. I love this one. Oh, perfect for this time of year. And it just, it has so much depth to me. Um, and the staying power is not bad, about six to eight hours on my skin and a nice arm's length projection, guys. Definitely a compliment getter. Cobalt Electric from Carolina Herrera. And then last but not least, let's do an honorable mention. An oldie but goodie, guys. This is one of those youthful fragrances you either love or hate it. If you hate sweet fragrances, or if you're a little bit more on the mature side and you just don't like a fragrance like this, or you think it's cheesy, that's okay. More for me, I love feeling youthful and young. I love sweet gourmandish fragrances. And I love this club fragrance by One Million. This is just, I don't know, it's something about it to this day, when I wear this out, I still freaking get the compliments. You've got that sweet grapefruit, right? And guys, this fragrance has sold. It is a number one bestseller. Grapefruit, spicy, some nice cinnamon, warm amber, leather, woody, guys. This is great for the compliments for the fall and just so youthful. I love the grapefruit opening, just amazing. One million by Paco Rabanne as my honorable mention. So there you have it. Those are my top seven fragrances for fall that are perfect for getting compliments. I'd love to know yours. Let me know in the comments down below. If you got any value from today's video, please leave a thumbs up. If you'd love to be a part of my fragrance family, we'd love to have you. Hit that subscribe button down below, hit those bell notifications off the side, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.